Welcome back to your final part of your Thursday evening 6 o'clock show. Chef Adrian Martin is on dinner duty tonight. Adrian, remind us what we're having. Uh, we're doing a nice take on crispy duck noodles. We are. So it's like a Chinese kind of classical uh, crispy duck dish, but we're going to add the noodles and I'm going to show you like a nice way of kind of putting it together. So firstly, uh, what I've done is I've roasted off. So I've just done half a duck. Uh, and basically what we do with this is we like, just like a chicken basically, salt, pepper, into the oven, let it roast nicely. And then I've got some hoisin sauce. And basically what I've done with the hoisin is I've like glazed it. So it becomes this lovely dark, dark color. Uh, you can get a little close up of that yeah. there. And what we do with that is you get two forks. So you let that cool down once it comes out of the oven. The beauty about duck is you can kind of overcook it almost because it's quite fatty. The fat renders down and always keeps the meat nice and moist. With chicken, you can't, you can't really get away with that. Uh, you get two forks and you basically get stuck in. So you can see underneath the flesh there, Yeah. we have nice little bit of meat and you get stuck in with two forks. Now I've done the meat, you pick through the meat nicely and you can add little bits of the skin and everything into that as well. So what I've done is I've done some earlier, like that. Uh, in the restaurant, actually, we would normally confit a duck. So confit means to like cook in its own fat, basically. Um, but this is a lot easier. Just roasting is not a lot easier. So I'm going to go into a pan with some oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go straight in with that uh, duck we've done. Now, again, if duck's not your thing, Myrne, you can definitely go, go in here with pulled chicken, which is absolutely delicious as well. Kind of same, uh, similar uh, profile of flavor as well. So you could use the hoisin sauce, if you like, okay. in there. So what... So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get this even more crispy again. So we're going to add a little bit of salt to it, like that. And then we're going to go in with some garlic. So I just have a clove of garlic, which I'm just going to chop really roughly here. And then we're just looking to kind of give this like a little bit of uh, a paste. So a little tip for you with this is a little bit of sea salt onto, if you don't have a crusher, a little bit of sea salt on top of the garlic. And then use the side of your knife and literally just crush it. It really helps, it kind of grips it off the side of the knife and you get this lovely little paste. And then in we go to the duck. Adrian has like these that. great little hacks that we can mm. all <laughs> use at home. Thanks for that. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Uh, we have ginger. Uh, we normally, if you get organic ginger, uh, it's good to actually use the skin. So just grate straight in with the skin. You don't even have to peel it like that as well. So okay. we're gonna go straight in with that. So. And do you ever notice that, like, sometimes they say, use a thumb-sized piece of ginger. I don't know what size thumbs they're using, to be honest with you. I think that's absolutely massive. <laughs> uh, I would go with about a teaspoon. <laughs> like, my thumb. Like, imagine putting my thumb in a size piece of ginger in there. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, okay? Now, I, I never so knew have... that was a unit of measurement for a ginger. Not till now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that feels... Oh, so. Okay. You're dead right. That does so, feel look, weird. Look, we have... You see how crispy this goes, all right? Now, I'm going to add to this, because this cooks really, really fast, that uh, pak choy. And we're just going to chop up the leaves like that, sprinkle those in, and then we're going to get the stalks here, and you slice these nice and thin. All right, like so the that. leaves go in in chunks, yep. and the rest... And then the rest, you just kind of finely slice. Okay. Uh, the idea of, uh, I suppose, bok choy or pa bok choy or pak choy is it cooks just as quick as spinach. So literally like 30 seconds in a hot pan and it's done. What we'll do then finally just to finish this off, and this is kind of just like a, the quickest stir fry you'll ever have. So you could have the duck done, say, in advance, have it a day done in advance, and then this is just about like throwing it together. Or if you have leftover roast chicken, I think it's brilliant for that as well. Uh, so I'll just give you a look. See how quick that cooks down there. And then what we'll do then is we'll just add then the final ingredients. So I have some sweet chili sauce, which is one of my favorite ingredients. So we're going to go straight in with that. So this goes like sticky and glazed. So again, sweet chili, all it is is like chopped up chilies. Uh, we have honey and white wine vinegar normally. So if you want to make it yourself. And then we have some soy sauce as well. Lovely. So in you go. And with the bok choy, you never parboil it down for a dish like this, do you? No, you don't need to, no, no. You don't need to parboil it at all. Like, literally chop it in, and it'll cook through, like, in the steam of this here itself. I'll okay. just show you now how quick... Look, see, it's cooked down nicely now. What With bok choy, wow. you want a kind of a little bit of... Uh, 
uh, crunch to it. So yeah. you want that little bit of texture. I, I don't like it when it's like, uh, you know, you, you bite through it and it just disintegrates. I don't like veg like that at all. I like a little bit of al dente to it. So I'm going to let that cook down. So that'll literally take just another literally 30 seconds. And I'm just going to show you what I do with noodles. So uh, rice noodles is probably my favorite variant of noodle. Basically what I do is I boil the kettle. Uh, when I start, say, stir frying or whatever, I'll just pour a kettle load of water into my noodles, cover it in cling film or cover it with a lid. And uh, what we do then is uh, you leave that for about five minutes. So five minutes, you get perfectly cooked noodles. You don't need to boil them either. And then what I do then is I get a little bit of soy sauce here. So I like the soy sauce in the noodles itself as well. Sometimes I find noodles can be quite bland on their own. So I just like that little addition to it. Adrian, I just want to say thank you so much as a proper chef for giving me tacit permission to cook noodles in the laziest way possible that I always do. And I never, I never, ever, ever bring the water to the boil. So thank you so much for that. But well, you yeah, did put no, boiling water on them. Yeah, that's fine. I can yeah, do that, but it's always from the yeah, kettle. Yeah. I don't get people who bring stuff to the boil. I'm like, what? Why are you wait, wasting time, lads? <laughs> now, if, it's different if it's pasta or spaghetti or something like that. You, you do need to. to boil it. But, but for you? things like egg noodles or, or rice okay. noodles, yeah, yeah. For noodles, like noodles will just disintegrate if you actually boil them. Uh, so what we do is I normally just go ahead and uh, soak them, basically. So noodles just really need soaking because all they are is dehydrated, really. Okay, so we have literally noodles on, like that. And then what we're going to do then is we have our duck, which is like crispy. And then it's also got that lovely little sauce and everything on it as well. And then it's straight on. Pak choy, you have sweet chili. The, we glazed the duck in hoisin when we roasted it in the oven. And then my favorite thing, I like a little bit of heat at the end. So I go with chilies. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love a bit of heat in my food. So we have chopped red chili. They are optional. Then, <laughs> they are optional, absolutely, yeah, yeah. But this will work with pork, this will work with chicken. I mean, it's the best dish you could use for leftover chicken. Uh, duck is delicious. I think it's just um, a meat that's very underrated and a lot of us don't try. So give it a try and see what you think. I think duck is really, really good. I feel that was uh, quite there pointed it. there, Adrian. I'm going to be honest. That was that felt <laughs> yeah. quite pointed. I was being quite subtle, but not subtle at the same no, time. You know? We weren't being subtle at all, <laughs> babe. He was being cavern subtle. No, oh, is that what it cavern was? Yeah. And with all the heat, I think he's washing it down a little bit later on uh, with a beer because Martin and himself have been dur during the ad break. We're just well, talking about Chelsea. He's, get he's getting the grub yeah. into him, then he's going to settle down to watch yeah. Chelsea. Exactly what you're doing. In, impossible, impossible task against Liverpool. <laughs> you never know the way Liverpool have been playing. You never know. Uh, listen, thank you so much, Adrian. It looks great. Thank Hope you. you have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Adrian. Cheers.